Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you three easy but critical strum patterns so you can play a variety of songs with confidence. If you're new to guitar, you're going to especially love this. Let's do it. Hey there, I'm Thomas Michel from Real Guitar Success, where I help you learn to play guitar and unleash that musician with inside you. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so I can get you more guitar lessons, tips, and tutorials. Having a few basic strum patterns under your belt is critical to enjoying practicing and playing guitar. Today, I'll show you three foundational strum patterns that are fairly easy, but at the same time, you'll be able to use for your entire guitar playing journey. All these patterns are based on a basic up-down strumming pattern. We're going to shoot, start with that just as an exercise before we do the strum patterns. So for all these, I'm going to use an E chord just to keep everything the same. Look at my right hand. We're going to just go down, up, down, up. Now I'm going to use a counting of one and two and three and four and. This will just help me explain the rhythms at some points. So one is down, and is up, down, up. This will be consistent through each of these strum patterns. So try this one out with me, just to get used to it. Go ahead and just put your hand over your neck for right now. We're just going to make a sound and strum with your right hand. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now we're going to count that. Count with me. It's be one and, and so on. Let's do it. One and two and three and four and. By the way, if you're using a pick, you might sound a little rough at this point. Don't worry about that. Just do the best you can. And by the way, I do have another video on how to get a smooth strumming sound with a pick. So you can check that out too. Now, let's go to the E chord and we're going to do that first strumming pattern. The first strumming pattern is a combination of down and down up. First, you go down, then down, up, down, up, and end with a down. So, if you were to count it, it would be one, two, and three, and four. So try that with me now, nice and slow. Here we go. Ready, play. One, two, and three, and four. Again, one, two, and three, and four. This is a good foundation pattern. At this speed, it doesn't sound like much, but one of the tricks is to add a few nuances. One of the tips I'll give you is when you're going down, strum all the strings and on the way up, just aim for the top three or four strings. Don't try to brush all the way back through all the strings. This creates a little bit of an effect that's da, 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 da. Listen to it, man. So with that strum, down, down. You see how it sounds a little different because I'm putting a little more emphasis on the down by strumming all the strings and a little lighter touch with less strings on the way up. Down, down, up, down, up, down. There's a slow version of that. So as you progress through the strums, learn the patterns, but start looking for the subtleties in the pattern that makes it sound more musical. Let's go on to pattern number two. Strumming pattern number two is similar to the first one, but we're adding something to it. So now it's down, down, up, skip, up, down, up, down, down, up, skip, up, down. Up. Try it with me nice and slow. It's going to be down, down, up, and then we skip all the strings and come up, and then another down, up. Start from the beginning. Ready, go. Down, down, up. Now skip the strings. Up, down, up. And you see my arm keeps going up and down. That stays the same. Ready, go. Down, down, up, skip, up, down, up, down, down, up, skip, up, down, up. Now, if we were to count that out, it would be one, two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, skip, up, down, up. Again, you can put a little more emphasis on the downs by hitting all the strings and a little less on the up by just hitting a few of the strings and it'll give it a little more variety, a little more movement. You 
notice every now and then I'm even putting a little extra emphasis on the up to create a little motion. Now for strum number three, we're going to add another technique. We'll call this the mute technique. To demonstrate this, I'm going to make my E chord, and I'm just going to do the technique, and then we'll put it in a strum. The mute is where you hit the strings and then mute at the same time with your palm. Sounds like this. Now, most of that sound is coming from me turning my wrist to hit the strings at the same time palming with my right hand, palm. In reality, when I actually play, I also usually lighten up on my left hand to kind of help it out. But let's just focus on the right hand for now. You can always play around with that as you get more experience. Just this technique with me. Make your E chord and let's just go down and palm at the same time. So you barely hear the notes. They just slightly sound before you're muting them out. Now, I encourage you to practice that technique. Just do it a little bit each day till it, you start feeling it. And again, it's a combination of this wrist going down a little bit, at the same time the arm moving down, and then palming. Okay, so now here's how it fits into the strum. I call this an acoustic rock strum because it's commonly used in music that's kind of a, a rock type B, that, like Creed's Clearwater Revival, even though it's acoustic guitar. So try it with me now. We're gonna go down, up, mute, up. And th that's the whole strum. Down, up, mute, up. Let's try it. Ready, go. Down, up, mute, up, down, up. Now, really slow for a minute. Try this with me, painfully slow. Ready, go. One and mute. Up, one and mute. Up, one and. Now, if I were counting it out, it would be one and two and three and four. And that would be all four beats. You notice I'm playing the same little pattern over twice. Again, ready, go. Down, up, mute, up. Down, up, mute, up. Now, I encourage you to practice this just like it is. Take one at a time and get fairly comfortable with it and then move on to the second strum and then learn the third one. And when you're ready, I encourage you to practice with either a metronome, which is good. Even better would be some jam tracks. It makes it more fun and you get a feel of how it actually fits in with the music. This video is part of a playlist on guitar strumming lessons. And if you want to learn more about guitar strumming, go ahead and subscribe and I'll make sure you know when those videos are available. Now, if I've already released those videos by the time you get to this lesson, I'll put a little uh, card up in one of these corners so it'll direct you to the playlist and you can find the other videos in that, in that playlist about guitar strumming patterns and guitar strumming lessons. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you out. And also, while you're there, let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see me make videos on. Take care for now.